Hi, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about affiliate marketing and building your newsletter from within your app. Okay, so today I'm back in the office. Now, first thing I want to do is thank everybody for all the great comments you left last Friday on my, you know, when I got the Mustang and I, you know, I showed you guys all that. Nothing to do with apps, and I really appreciate all the congratulations and everything like that, right? And I was, God, you know, I drove that thing around all weekend, and I was so tempted to like do the, today's video from within the car, right? Not even, you know, just like still doing the same topic, but just sitting there with the laptop all scrunched up, doing it from within the car, just because. It's so nice to be in. But anyway, so, but I promise you today we do talk about something app related. So today I want to talk about, today what I want to talk about something that I've been very interested in from the beginning. So like if you read anything, if, like if you read any of those spammy make money online articles or books, I've read, I've read a lot of these books, uh, or, um, or anything about, you know, uh, content marketing stuff like that. A lot of the times what they'll do is they'll talk about affiliate marketing. And for affiliate marketing, for those of you who don't know, and, and I'd be surprised if there's anybody out there who doesn't know. An affiliate marketing is where you can subscribe to different services or different websites and become an affiliate of those websites. So let's say if you have a blog about magic, right? You might be an affiliate account with a magic shop, right? And they would give you a special link. And then as you mentioned, pulling a rabbit out of a hat. <laughs> I don't know where I'll go. I don't know why I chose this one. I don't know nothing about magic. Right? So let's say you do the magic rings thing and then you can include a link to buy your own magic rings here. And somebody clicks on that link, it would have a special code in it. So when they go to the magic shop and buy those rings, you would get a percentage of that purchase uh, because you helped sell the, those magic rings, right? So, so that's what an affiliate link is. And early on in apps, right, we make, see most of my revenue comes from AdMob each month. So, you know, it's pennies per impression really. So, you know, or, you know, more for clicks and everything like that. But so we have to have a lot of impressions and a lot of downloads. But early on, I'm, I mean, I've been very tempted by those affiliate marketing programs. And there's whole, you know, industry around this. There's like, you know, there's LinkShare, there's ClickBank, there's, you know, Amazon affiliates, there's, there's loads of things out there and you could go and subscribe to all these different things and, and apparently people make a lot of money this way or they tell you they do so they can sell books. I'm, I'm still not quite sure, but I, you know, I think a lot of people are making a lot of money through affiliate marketing, especially through high ticket items, right? So if you're gonna sell like a, I think selling a stereo would be better than selling a toothbrush, for example, right? So. So I've been really interested in this in apps, and I and I played around with it a little bit early on by creating house ads in AdMob. A house ad is an ad that you can you know basically put into your own app, so you don't have to pay for it because you're using your own ad space. So I would create you know house ads in AdMob and try to use some of these ClickBank affiliate links, right? And I found that you know AdMob was disabling these almost you know within a couple hours because they were just so so spammy and everything. And if you look at ClickBank, I mean, man, it's like a lot of the stuff in there is is really bad right so but uh, you know later on i read you know well you read a lot also from uh content marketers and affiliate marketers that building up your email list is is really important and in fact for the first you know three years of, with um ear spy you know you know all the the millions of downloads we were getting you know people were asking me are you getting everybody's email address are you getting their personal information everything i said no i'm not getting any of that right so because you can't just you can't just, you could ask for it, but you know, if you have an app that's called EarSpy, nobody's gonna give you the personal information. I mean, I wouldn't, right? So, but you could have, say, a newsletter registration. So like on our website, we have the Overpass newsletter. You know, you can subscribe to that. Uh, but I wanted to have something that was, that would entice people on, on EarSpy. So the idea was, rather than just do something that says subscribe to our newsletter, we say, let's create a content like a course. So we came up with a spy training newsletter. So have a look over here on my screen. I'll show you kind of what I mean here. So here's my MailChimp account, right? If I go over to uh, lists, you see we have different lists that uh, you know, people subscribe to, but only one of them really has any significant numbers in it, which is spy training, right? So it's just got like 3,000 people in it. So uh, which is not a, not a huge amount. The, the uh, email open rate, 17.4%, uh, you know, 0.7% actually click on something, right? So, you know, I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but it is what it is. 
if I go into automation over here. So basically what happens if somebody goes into our app and then you know subscribes to this new to the spy training, I'll show you this in a minute, they'll get they'll go into this uh, automation loop. So spy training automation. The nice thing about MailChimp is you can set all this kind of stuff up, the autoresponder. So uh, so so let's say let's say we got a new user in today, so we get like we get about 10 or 12 a day, right? So somebody comes in and they, they, you know, they click on that, they put in their email address, they'll, get, they'll immediately get the welcome email, right? Which has a little article in it about how to become a spy or something like that, right? And then the next, yeah, uh, one week later, so we have it triggered, so a week from now they would get the second one, uh, a week later they get the third one, and I think we only go up to 12 weeks. Yeah, so we got 12 week course, uh, so, you know, every week we do something different. And if I just show you kind of what these look like here, so view email. As an example, you know, spy training number six, investigate the investigative technique series on how to interview people or interrogate a subject. So we've got, you know, Sandy's been putting all these designs in there and we've got like just like a nice little thing, right? And we and on a few of these we have affiliate links, but uh, yeah, they don't do too well. I'll go to that here in a minute. So. It should be really easy to put these into your app. So, and the benefits of having a newsletter as opposed to just having just a link, like like I was trying to do with the house has before, is that if you get enough people on your newsletter subscription, you could theoretically market more to them later. So, like you could, you know, if they don't buy on the first newsletter, you could try to sell it again on the second one. You know, maybe and even after they go through the twelve emails, I could send, I could continue sending things to those three thousand people because they agreed to receive those emails. Now I haven't done that very much yet. Actually, I haven't done it at all except for these these twelve. But it's still something that it's a possible revenue stream if I can make it work. Right. So, so it should be easy to put this in your email now. If now Android and and sorry, Android and iOS both have components that use you know the i the iOS um, that use the Mailchimp API, right? So. It, it, so you put a form in there and have it communicate with the API and everything kicks off from MailChimp. Uh, and MailChimp's just one of the subscribers. I mean, there's Aweber, there's uh, I think Infusionsoft, there's, there's other email providers out there. You know, we use MailChimp just because I kind of like the look of it. Um, so, but you know, I have a, a team in India that were working on the Earspy Android version, and this was like two years ago, and I said. You know, I want to put this newsletter thing in there, and I had the, you know, I put everything together. I started writing, you know, started writing some of the content, right? And these guys, they took ages on it. They just could not get it to work, right? They would, they would get it so you could subscribe to the email, but they wouldn't get the the responses back and everything like that. I mean, it was so, you know, even now when I look at it, I can't believe it. I wasted so much money on it because when I looked at it, I thought, dude, that's easy. So in the end, what we did, just yeah, and this is. I mean, this is not because yeah, I don't know if the plugin or the um, the component is difficult, but I just you know sometimes you just you just have these kind of issues, right? So, so in the end, what I did was I just I wrote the code in there myself, just to you know you click on a button and it opens up a web page. So let me just show you over here in the iPhone version. Uh, here I got the si simulator up over here, All right? So, so you, you're in the uh, you're in iOS app, and then you just go into settings, right? And then you'll see you know, add features, you know, all the in-app purchases and stuff like that. And then down here you can see spy training newsletter and if you click on that basically all it does is take you to a web page which is on a wordpress site and then that way i mean you know you've got a few components like a few api components and everything out there which are you know fiddly to get into your app you, you know it's gonna take ages to test it all of them and then, you know opening a web page there's a lot of javascript components that do that so this was much easier just to go in and say okay i go in here and then i could have my sign up form here I could test it over and over again in a browser just to make sure everything works. And uh, you know, and it, it just does. And because it's a web page and not just in the app, I could put this on the uh, EarSpy Facebook page, I could put it on the Overpass Facebook page and all this kind of stuff uh, and try to you know, spread that a little bit more. All right, so, and that's, that's working pretty well. We're at 3,000 subscribers, uh, which is, you know, it's, it's actually getting pretty expensive. See. My copywriting skills are not what they should be. It's either affiliate marketing is overhyped and it doesn't pay as much as people say it does, or I'm not doing it right. Because we're getting the subscribers through, we're putting the affiliate links in there, uh, and uh, we're just not making not making a lot of revenue from it. But it's, it's kind of thing where it's kind of thing where I have confidence that it can work. I'm just not doing it right. And there's a lot of things like that. You know, you think either you know. I can't discount it completely because I might not be the right person doing this and, uh, and actually getting out there and doing stuff. So like a lot of the ads that I'm selecting or the affiliate 
companies that I'm selecting might not be the best. I use a lot of like ClickBank stuff at first and as soon as you do that, MailChimp will shut you down. They'll suspend the email like immediately because they'll say, you know, they don't want to be, you know, caught up for spam and everything like that, which makes sense. You know, they don't want all their all their emails going straight into spam filter because some idiot put in some some sleazy ClickBank thing. Anyway, just really simple. That's kind of one of the ways we're doing it. We talked before about the ways that you can make money with apps. You've got you know, you've got your app sales, you've got in-app purchases, you've got advertising, you've got promotions, uh, and then this is another way. You could start building your newsletter and start reaching out to your audience that way, especially if you, if you could find something that would entice them to come in and do that. I mean, you could give something away, like, you know, say you have some lock content, and then you just say, you know, you can unlock it by subscribing to our newsletter, and then you give them a code on that first, you know, email or something like that. That's something we're not doing yet, but it was something that we thought about doing early on, so, Anyway, I hope that's been helpful. You know, if you guys have had, had better success for this, if there's anybody out there, all you you know, really you know, smart app developers out there, if you've been using you know, affiliate links and email newsletters and everything in your apps and it's really working for you, let us know about it. You know, because I'd, I'd be really, really interested in knowing that. Anyway, that's it for today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.